Certainly her WNBA stock continues to rise. She's fun to watch. She's exciting. She's got a high IQ and a good motor. After day's rest, leading up, you wouldn't have to play till one Thursday in the quarterfinals. There's a bucket on the drive from the newcomer, Olivia Miles, the freshman from Peaburg, New Jersey. Yeah, Louisville has come out ready to play today. And look at Dana Evans high off the glass. Purcell Pavilion in South Bend and immediately on the inbounds, the three. And a trip to the Final Four again would solidify her place in the rafters. Now they're working inside to Sam Brunel, a couple of points in the paint. Brunel, Sam Brunel's shot chart this year. It'd be a lot of shots outside the arc. She very rarely goes inside. Uh-oh. Here we go, Beth. I can feel it heating up. 12 points already in the first five minutes of the game. She's hit all four of her shots. That matches the Irish total, who just became eligible after the holidays. And uh, they are having their way as Louisville in the lane. Does her job very well with all the detail inside the game, which a lot of people call dirty work and I call detail. Terrific relocation by Kiana Smith. Conference championships, and I think they'd like their seed line to move up a little bit. Charlie Cream has bumped him up to a two seed. Second chance opportunity up and in. Here she is, ball in hand, number one in red. Terrific poise, waiting. The patience for the screener to roll. Boy, they're scoring in the paint. They've already dropped four triples. Just under two minutes to go in this first quarter. Dangerous because she's already very good off the bounce. See, Louisville's not even guarding her out there. A couple of assists now from Olivia Miles. Hey, look at that hey. And Evans with a terrific find. Evans, watch this play right here. Here comes the hedge. You're trying to bounce her all the way out and give your defense time to rotate. And Lith feeds the post. Nice face up. Miles drops it off nicely. Fourth place finish and a four seed in the ACC tournament. That's the double bye. Rattled in and out by Mabry. A third opportunity up and in for Maddie Westbill. Louisville really doing a good job moving the ball against the Notre Dame zone in the first quarter. Continuing here in the second. Offensive rebound, stick back up and in. Get Olivia Miles back onto the floor. She is their true point guard. And you know, when we're talking now about selection committees and we got the big reveal coming up after the game today. Well, she kept getting caught in that matchup with Haley Van Lift, which she knows is a mismatch and maybe frustration because her teammates wouldn't throw it to her. Swatted by Olivia Cochran and Evans tries to reward the youngster and does. Oh, our favorite time of the year as we get set to talk about the tournament. Well, you can hear Louisville's bench saying push, push, and they do just that, a pull up. She was terrific the first matchup. Five points, eight rebounds, four assists, two steals. Oh, uh -oh. she's on it. Is that Good the run. first official? Love it. That is going to be a fun film session for her tomorrow. Can she make it three in a row? She's in the trail position. Here she is, Robinson. And she'll settle for the assist instead. Tournament week for most of the women's leagues. They go the week uh, before the guys do. We'll have the ACC championship game for you next Sunday. Miles and one. There have been some significant losses already today, but I believe the reveal is already in. Coming up on ESPN2. Up and in. Top line number one seeds. 
barring disasters in their tournament play. Guard the ball well against Florida State in their loss. They are coming off a loss. Not the way they want to prepare for postseason. Pretty move from Dana Evans. 16 points, four assists for Dana. The pick and the roll. Brunel gives it up to Westbell for the lay in. A lot of 900 wins. Mm. Very cool. Miles. Field goal percentage, or fourth and, and uh, three point percentage. I mean, it's amazing what, what they have done offensively with five new starters. Brenda Fries just might be the national coach of the year as well. Different criteria. So you, you can count quantity of wins when you're talking about a, a Texas A&M or, or a, a South Carolina. It'll be all eye test because they haven't yeah, played the schedule that a lot of other teams had. Um, and and we, we see with our own eyes just how good they are playing right now. And so uh, the net is interesting to me since it's the first time that tool has been being used in an unbalanced schedule year with COVID. So again, it goes back to what you were saying about quantity and quality wins and criteria that you use to evaluate. It's very subjective. He's got seven points here in the third quarter for Louisville. So with South Carolina's loss, Arizona, by the way, just lost in overtime to Arizona State. Brunel with the snag and the bucket. She's into double digits now with 11. Irish can get this down to 10 or single digits. The drive, the dish, Brunel with the lay-in. Personal foul on Westbeld. And she departs once again. Robinson hits. Good out of bounds play and execution. Miles stripped by Robinson. The pick, and that will get Evans the layup the other way. Enrique's late fireworks. Irish got within 10. Trailed by as many as 22, and now Louisville's opened it back up. Be the ACC regular season champs with this win, and a net of six. Charlie Cream's projection right now is a two seed. NC State has the head-to-head, -head and they are the reigning ACC tournament champs, winning it last year. Two for her, two for Asia Durr for LSU. Yeah. Yeah. And for Louisville, excuse me. Mm -hmm. There she is with the finish, and now it's 20 points. 17th time she's hit 20, Debbie. That's uh, the third most in the country with Caitlin Clark at Iowa. Can't, can't imagine that uh, she would be kept off any of the All-America teams this year. Real credit not only to Jeff Walls, but uh, before the Final Four. And the SEC Championship goes to Texas A&M as they beat South Carolina this afternoon in College Station. Haley Van Liff with the three, under three minutes to go here in South Bend. That's where Dana Evans makes a play that is going to help Haley Van Liff, which is going to help the team later. She knows Haley is struggling. She struggled the last couple of games. She could have made a layup. And a lot's going to be on the players to bring their own juice, right? Yeah, bring your own energy. And one here for Westbelt. They've added a game to their schedule, so they are not, uh, the, the Big Ten is unclinchable just yet. And congratulations to the Louisville Cardinals, the 2021 ACC regular season champs. They'll be the number one seed.